Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. This is a soft cataract in a highly myopic eye. The power of the intraocular lens is only 12 diopter. I have taken up this case for surgery. This is a totally unedited real time surgery. Let us observe the surgical steps. The main incision has been placed at around 11 o'clock. And now, this is phenocaine, which contains gylocaine, tropicamide, and phenylephrine. 2% ASPMC is used to fill up the anterior chamber. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision, about 3 o'clock hours away. And now, capsulorexis with the help of this uterita forceps. A capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size rexis of about 5.5 millimeter. Hydrodissection is done with the help of a BSS and 27 Gauss cannula. The nucleus is mobilized, hydrodelineation is also attempted. I find that the cataract is soft and pre-chopper will help in managing this nucleus. So here goes Dr. Sohil's pre-chopper and I just divided the nucleus into two heminuclei and didn't try to divide the didn't try to divide each heminucleus. Inject some more visco. Since the cataract is soft, only just division of the nucleus into two halves will make management of this case very, very easy. Just observe. I am not going to use the chopper in this case only the hand piece and on heminucleus comes to the teeth and it is emulsified. Just the other one also comes and in no time the other heminucleus is also emulsified. So it has become so easy. So in soft cataracts this Pre-chopping the nucleus helps a lot. And now I am going to use this instrument. This is a 23 Gauss Simco cannula, very gentle and safe instrument for cortical cleanup. Most of the cortex has been aspirated by the Simco cannula through the main wound. And now I try to go through the side port and I find that this is a small wound and moreover there are some eyelashes. I do not want to touch the eyelashes. I tried to remove the cortex through the main wound but I found it difficult. A very easy way is to make another port at 7 o'clock. So I injected visco and I plan to make this side port at 7 o'clock going from sclera just behind the limbus. And when we make a small incision from this side, it does not require any hydration for its closure. So using this new side port for aspiration of these cortex and now now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. In this case we have selected a single piece monofocal intraocular lens that is sensor 1 from Johnson and Johnson. But Probably the 
better choice is a multi-piece intraocular lens that is sensor multi-piece or technis multi-piece intraocular lens. Here goes the lens in the bag. Now, why this multi-piece is a better choice? These myopic eyes have a large bag and sometimes the single piece lenses may rotate in the bag. Multi-piece lenses, they are more stable in the bag, they do not usually rotate in the bag. At this time, the visco is removed from the antechamber as well as from the capsular bag using the 23 gauze Simco cannula for this. Simco is a very gentle and very safe instrument. And now I am going to use the irrigating cannula of bimanual IA for some more time for removing some more visco. Irrigating the capsular bag going behind the eye well, irrigating the anterior chamber and we can see that the anterior chamber is shining means most of the visco has come out, almost 99 percent visco has come out. Now, in this case we have not used the left side port. The right side port at 7 o'clock is from the sclera. So, we do not have to hydrate corneal stroma for sealing up of these wounds, they are already sealed. And the main wound also has been constructed in such a way that it does not require any hydration. So, this is a final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time, a gentle stream of BSS is directed towards the corneal endothelium and whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed at this time. The anterior chamber is nicely formed, integrity of all the wounds achieved, few drops of mox is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. I want to emphasize that pre-chopper helps a lot in soft cataracts. So, please try this instrument. I have no financial in interest. But this pre-chopper is a really very helpful instrument for soft cataracts.